Hello, uh, we're Team 11. Uh, uh, my name is Juan Bernabeu. Mario Carvajal. Jorge Silva. And we're gonna be talking about our project for the Gearbox. Um, so, so the introduction for the project is basically we had to, we were assigned a Gearbox uh, that we had to design in order to meet the, the following parameters, like the input rotational speed to be 1,260 RPM. The output rotational speed would be 70. RPM and uh, to have a overall uh, output horsepower of seven horsepower, and then the uh, direction of the input output would be opposite, and uh, we also have to optimize the size and the volume for this gearbox. <coughs> so the problem description is, as I mentioned before, we had to design the seven horsepower gearbox, and uh, with the input and output revolutions specified to be opposite, um, so it had to. Um, decrease the rotational speed and increase torque. And so for this, we had to look for accurate uh, gears, bearings, and shafts with the manufacturer lists like, uh, like uh, Timken and Boston gears. And we had to create a conceptual design, optimize on that design, and then uh, check for the design safety calculations with the ACMA and ABMA uh, strength equations. Um, after this, we had to perform a literature survey, which basically what we did is that the, we based off that the gear set was a reducer instead of a speeder, and then the ACMA strength equations obviously were found in the book, as well as the ACMA and the stress analysis of the shafts uh, with the shear moment uh, and bending moment diagrams. So, uh, for when we started our, our design, uh, we tried to first start with only using two gears to see what that would get us. That was like a preliminary step, and since our uh, Velocity ratio is very high. It's 18. We saw quickly saw that the safety factor that it wasn't going to be possible. It was going to be way too low. So we added another set of gears, another two two sets of gears. So the four spur, spur gears were it was a better number. We were we got closer to the desired uh, um, output uh, rotational speed, but however the safety factor was still not close to uh, what we were, what we were looking for. So we finally added in the last set of gears and we were able to find a satisfactory safety factor and we're as close to the output rotational speed desire as possible. So once we had our uh, gear selected, then we had to use the AGMA procedures to see if they were going to be safe. So what we decided to do is we created a, an Excel spreadsheet with um, that we can input all the values for the uh, AGMA and uh, procedures for both bending and uh, wear, and uh, we were able to quickly input each all the corresponding constants and uh, uh, values for each gear, and we could get a uh, allowable stress and our overall sigma and our safety factor for each gear. And once we saw that our gears passed this, we went on to the next phase. So with our final conceptual design, once we had all the gears chosen, we chose this type of setup in our gearbox. We have the six spur gears. The first and last uh, gear are each on one single shaft. And then the two corresponding uh, sets of, of gears are each on its own shaft. So in a total, we have four shafts, two with one gear and two with two gears uh, each. Uh, for each shaft, we chose to, to have two roller bearings for each one to support the shafts. So all in all, we came out to eight roller bearings, and then we have the external housing. So finally, for the structural design, once we had our, our gears chosen, we had to select the correct material for our shaft. So the way that, that uh, we did this is um, we did a uh, structural analysis for, the, for each shaft, finding the corresponding resultant forces on, on uh, the bearings from the tangential and uh, radial loads from each of the gears. And once we uh, found those values, we were able to construct a uh, shear and bending moment diagram. From here, we were able to take these values from, for the bending moment and input them into to find the uh, shear stress and the, um, the bending stress on the, on the uh, shaft. Once we find that, we find the von Mises stress for the shaft. Once we know the von Mises stress, we, that's, now we can pick a suitable material that's, that has a higher yield strength than that von Mises stress that we, that we found. 
Um, then for our selection of bearings, using the reaction forces at the bearings that we found at the, at the very beginning, uh, we can find a C10 value for uh, our bearings. So once we find the C10 uh, value, we can compare that to uh, the catalog and we find a corresponding C10 value with a similar uh, bore diameter to our shaft and we select those as our bearings, which you can see here we have our eight different bearings. Next, we have our cost estimate. We're gonna use two types of materials for our gears. We're gonna have a chill steel for the, for the very first gear, that's gonna be the pinion, and then we're gonna use chill cast iron for the rest of them. We're gonna have two sets of, of 60 teeth uh, gears. We're gonna have a 24, 32, and 45. All those gears comes to be to 12, tw uh, $212. We're gonna have a set of eight bearings that comes to seven and $800. We're going to have four shafts that comes to $49 and the housing that everything's inside is going to be around $50. That, that's a grand total of $1,019. The maintenance for our, for our uh, gearbox, we expect, expect it not to be so more, much complicated. We don't think that on our, the lifetime of our gearbox, there's, there's, gonna be, uh, there's not going to be any maintenance needed. We don't think that the oil is gonna be needed to be changed before the, the life cycles ends. But if it needs to be changed, it can be easily changed. And if any component breaks down inside of the gearbox, it can be opened, replaced, and then a gasket can be replaced to, to avoid spillage. To conclude, we think that this um, project was really um, um, challenging for us because we had to uh, implement the information and the knowledge that we gather through the, the semester in, in our uh, MECD2 class. But we are um, comfortable and confident that the, uh, the end result is going to be um, tortable. Thank you. Yeah, we're over seven. <laughs>